We're joined by another NFL star, Pro Bowl running back from the New Orleans Saints. Everybody give a warm welcome to Alvin Kamara. Alvin, thanks for joining us, my man. No doubt. Thanks for having me. Yo, Alvin, um, I want to get this out of the way first. Um, you and I were on Sports Center together a few years ago, and I don't think I asked you on camera. If you watch a game broadcast, the entire game back and forth in the booth, your name is pronounced two totally different ways, Kamara uh -huh. and Kamara. So yeah. from you... How do you pronounce your name? Well, oh, I say I say Kamara. I think it's, I tell everybody it's like it's just how the A comes off your tongue. I say Kamara. Some people say Kamara. I don't know. I, I just however you what say. You it. You, so you prefer Kamara? I say yeah. That's what I say. My mom okay. said Kamara though, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm right or my mom right. I was about to say let the record show, and then you threw that wrench in there. Yeah. I'm yeah gonna, okay. I'm gonna yeah. roll with you, Alvin. Oh, okay. okay. Too. All right. How you doing in quarantine? What's life like for you these days? I mean. It's, it's definitely it's definitely a little different, but, you know, just try to keep it as normal as I can, you know, um, considering the circumstances. But, you know, everything's everything's good. Just trying to stay safe, trying to stay, you know, um, avoid, you know, obviously the pandemic that's going on. Right. So most importantly, everybody in your house safe, everybody healthy. You've been OK? Oh, yeah. Everybody's been thankfully, you know, God willing, everybody's been good. Um, mom, sister, brother, everybody, you know, my whole family's been safe and, and just managed to steer clear of the, uh, uh, of the virus. So that's definitely a blessing. Yeah, God bless. Thank God. Um, hey, man, I know you just got to Houston. I don't know if you know this, but you got a season to get ready for. Yeah. So tell me what you've been up to. What, what's your workout look like for these days? Yeah, I've been, my, my workout been normal. You know, nice. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to tell you how I've been, you know, being able to get it in, but I've been getting my workouts in, uh, you know, regular scheduled program. So um, it's been it's been fine. You know, I've been I've been, you know, doing what I had to do to get ready. Um, so whenever we you know, whenever it is that we do have to go back, I'll be ready. All right. So take us. I mean, everybody at home is like, well, what does that look like? Definitely doesn't yeah. look like what I'm doing. Yeah. Give us like a quick overview of like what you do in a typical day for your workout. All right. So <laughs> I wake up at 415. Um, yeah. So I wake up at 415, have like a little juice or snack or something. OK. Um, Get to the weight room around like 4 45 workout from like that time to about like six so you know i mean regular i mean not regular but olympic squat squat olympic lift squat they lift bench press you know the regular go back home you know get home around like get back home around like 6 30 6 40. um have a protein shake Probably yeah, have a protein shake, then take like a like an hour to kind of just decompress from my workout. Might fall asleep for a second. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> take like an hour. So you know, get back get back moving around eight o'clock, and and then go get with my um, second trainer. Um, and that's when I go through all the all the you know all the balance workouts and all that stuff that that everybody's been seeing. So oh, it's about, so crazy. Yeah, so from about eight thirty eight forty five to about. Maybe like twelve o'clock, twelve thirty. That's what I'm doing, and then I'm done for the day. I'm good. Anything else? Massages or just taking care of my body? That's what I'm doing. It's kind of like my day. I mean, I I usually get a third workout in. I'm usually up at like four thirteen, uh, but uh, you know, I'm saying that's pretty good still. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Um, you know what though? I've been seeing you in your basement. Um, you've been gaming this entire quarantine. Are you a gamer? Are you good? Yeah, Are you playing? I, yeah, I've been I've been gaming. I've been I've been on it hard. So I've been on Call of Duty. I've been on you name it, 2K, uh, Apex, uh, just streaming like you know, um, you know, Twitch. Everybody's on Twitch, so I've been on Twitch like heavy, heavy, heavy. So that's what I've been doing. Just you know, giving everybody a little glimpse. Of, you know, right. Like, awesome. Awesome. Well, I love that you're training. I know a lot of Saints fans um, cannot wait to get this thing going, especially because you got a new. A new quarterback in that division mm -hmm. over there in Tampa Bay. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I, I, I like I like Brady, man. I, 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 <laughs> I, I've talked to him a couple of times, and you know, it just adds a, a, another another little bit of flavor to to our division. It, it was already loaded, but now with Tom and 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 what they have or what they're getting ready to have going on down there, I think it's just more competition. You know. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Bring it on. Yeah, um, sure. I mean. I could keep asking you questions all night. We could keep doing this, but we have got a ton of awesome fans on yep. this call. Exclusive, uh, exclusive people joining us and fan duelers that have a lot of questions for you. So I want to get to those questions right now, Alvin. And the first question comes to us from 
Boom. Brandon K. He says, what did you first buy when you got your first NFL check? Great question. All right. Brandon, all right. When I got my first check, first of all, now I'll tell you about all the taxes. <laughs> <laughs> my tax first, then when I actually got my check after the taxes, I didn't do nothing. I went and got some food. I literally went and got wings. Like I went and got something to eat. And I still like to this day, I have yet to like really buy myself anything with like any of my football money for real. So good for you. Yeah. Good for you. That's yeah. how you make it last, right? Oh, Talk to the fuck? young kids. Yeah, don't touch, don't touch it. Don't touch it. No matter how tempting it is, don't touch it. There you go. You got yourself a chain though, too. Uh yeah, it was a gift. That's beautiful. All right, <laughs> let's move on to number two here. Um, Allie N asks you, Alvin, you Ooh. have the highest Wonderlick score of any running back in your draft class. How did you prepare for that? All right, Ali. So I know it might sound strange, but I didn't prepare for it at all. <laughs> I, I, got, I got it from my mama. I literally, like, so they're all through draft prep, like, I didn't do I didn't even, like, I didn't do a fake Wonder League, nothing. I didn't do a test Wonder League, anything. I just, the first time I took the Wonder League or saw what the Wonder League looked like, anything, like, was when it was administered at the combine. So, all that, you know, just, eh, it was God given. <laughs> There you go. Own that. Yeah. Um, awesome question, Allie. Thank you. Let's get to our next question here for Alvin. And that comes from Andre E. Alvin, he wants to know, besides the Superdome, what is the next best stadium that you like to play in? Man, so I've been, I, let's see, I've been to Dallas, I've been to Minnesota, I've been, I've been, er I've been everywhere. I haven't, let me see. I think, oh yeah, I know, Lambo, Because you know, you hear all the stories about Lambo and like the, the history and and like, you know, you just hear so many stories about it. And then to actually go there, like, it's already hyped up before you go there. And then when I went, like, I went out for warm ups and I'm just looking around, like, dang, this Lambo Field. So I think, like, I, I definitely enjoy playing there just because of history. That's very cool. What's the coldest place you've ever played? I mean, you play in a dome. So yeah, I don't got to deal with the weather. Yeah, you get, a, you, you get up <laughs> north and you're like, it's Sunday for me. But uh, I'm trying to think. Um, like actually having to deal with the elements, probably Buffalo. Oh. Yeah. Good call. Good and it wasn't call. even bad, but it was still cold. All right. All right, let's move on. Uh, next question is from, we're gonna see it in a second. Next question is. I got you. All right, with the possibility of no fans in the stands, Alvin, how may that affect your play as opposed to having a full packed roaring stadium? This question is from Sal M. It's a great question, by the way. Yeah. Very topical. That's a good question. And I think, like, you know, a, a lot of me and my, my uh, closer friends that, that also play have been talking about it. Um, you know, it's definitely different because we're used to the energy that the, the, the crowd brings. So, you know, stadium noise is a thing. Like, you know, crowd impact is a thing. So, Without that, I don't know. It, it, it kind of changes the dynamic of the game. It's like when you score a touchdown, who's cheering? Like I, I don't know. Some guys, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's it's gonna be. It, it'll be weird if that were to happen. I don't know how I react to it, or I don't, I don't really have a. I don't know if I really have an answer for that. Yeah, I know you guys pump in crowd noise depending yeah. on what stadium you're about to go to to kind mm -hmm. of you know, get you prepared for that environment. Perhaps like now your coaches will just have like absolute silence to get you yeah. ready for that. Just completely conversely, like flipping the scripts. I don't know. Sean, Sean will have some good. I don't know if that's what it comes down to. Sean will have some. I'm sure. No doubt about it. Uh, all right, let's get to our next question, Alvin. Um, this comes from Jerry D. Do you still talk to Mark Ingram? Jerry, I talked to Mark every day. I was with Mark yesterday, literally. So that's my boy. Like that's one of my, Closest friends, so I talk to him every day. It's like he, it's, he might as well still be in New Orleans. Like we still as close as we were when he was with us. You guys train together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let him know that he got a shout out on the FanDuel virtual event tonight. Very exclusive oh, yeah, deal. For sure. For sure. He got a shout out. All right. Um, okay. Next question here. Um, it is uh, not sure who it's from, but it's this. Tell us a fun fact about Drew Brees that people wouldn't know. A fun fact about Drew Brees, um, Drew actually has a lot of knowledge about 90s hip hop. So, you know, you might catch him in the locker room, just walking in the locker room. Somebody might, play like, might be playing like some Dr. Dre or Ice Cube or like 
something and he's just singing every word, word for word, like hitting it, like Snoop Dogg, anything. Like he's in it, like, and you'll be like, what? Like Drew, and he's like, you know, he got that little cool walk and he's in the locker room, like bobbing. And doing <laughs> yes. thing. Nah, Drew, real cool. Like he's super cool, but that's one fun fact. Like I was surprised when I, when I, when I saw him do that, I was like, what the heck? I can definitely see that. A little DMX, little Rough Riders mixed yeah, in there. Nah, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> I love it. Um, respect, Drew. Okay, let's get yeah. to this next question here for you, Alvin. What's your go-to song to get you right before a game? Uh, my go-to song? Yeah. Dang, I don't really got a go-to song. I'm all over the place, but let me see, like. I'm from Atlanta. I just, I any, I just, you could put on Future Essentials and let it ride, and you going some gonna hype you up. Some be ready to go. Yeah, you'll hear some. Awesome, sure. awesome. Uh, okay, next question. What has been your favorite thing you've watched so far during quarantine? What you watching? This is from David C. <laughs> I don't really, you know, the crazy thing. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but I did watch. I think I was watching. Um, what was that the other day? The, the the evolution of hip hop, and I was like, the first episode was, or I think it was the second or first one of them was about New Orleans. Like coincidentally, it was like about you know like Cash Money and stuff like that, like Master P and all that. So I was watching that. That was pretty interesting because it was some stuff I ain't know, and just to you know know that and actually be in the city and like see stuff on the show and where they were at and like now I'm in the city and I'm like, oh, I've been there or like I seen that and like, hey, that's when. That's when they were doing that, or that's where they were doing that. It was dope to see. That's really cool. Probably taking you a little bit through your childhood as well, coming through that history. Just a little bit. A little bit. Um, uh, okay, let's get to that next question, and it is from Justin H. Do you feel that you were limited last season by your injury? I know you had two injuries, missed those two games, and do you expect any impact going forward? How are you feeling? Oh, I was definitely limited last season like 100 percent uh you know um i mean specifically I, I i you know during the season nobody really knows you know as a fan like and i understand it but i don't really care it doesn't hurt my feelings but you know fans they they always expect perfect product but you know realistically we deal with injuries we deal with other things like we're still human but you know just dealing dealing with dealing with that knee injury i mean it just limited me i couldn't really move how i wanted to move i was in pain every game I was playing and, you know, I just, I could have sat down like the, the extent of my injury, like it was a serious injury. Like it's not really an injury you play with, but I just decided to keep playing and try to fight through it the best I can. And that's what, and that's, that's what I try to put out on the field. Every, every, I try to get my all every, every um game. And, you know, it was a down year, but I'm not worried about it going forward. I'm hundred percent healthy now. So I'm good. I know a couple of DFS players that needed you for those two games, Alvin. I'm just yeah, saying. It'll be all right. Yeah. We got you, got you next season yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, question number 10 for you. Um, what's your favorite spot to eat in New Orleans? Maybe a spot that you're missing right now during quarantine. I know you said that you're in Houston right now to train. So mm -hmm. what's your favorite spot in New Orleans to eat? My favorite spot in New Orleans to eat, my friend has a restaurant, Larry Morrow. Shout out to Larry. It's called Moro's, and it's just um, kind of like Louisiana. It's Cajun cuisine with a little Korean twist. He's, his mother is the chef. So she's Korean. So it got some Korean twist with it with some Cajun cuisine and, like, you know, just some home-cooked good food. So shout out to Moro's. That's, that's what I'm missing right now. All right. All right. Sounds good right about now. Let's get to this last question for you, Alvin. Um, who was your favorite player growing up? Ah, oh, man. I feel like you knew this was coming. That's a hard question. It's like, well, I hate those questions. Who's your favorite player? Who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite running back? But my favorite player growing up, probably. Just, I mean, I was in Atlanta, so if you if you don't say this, you like you you wrong. Mike Vick. You know what I'm saying? He was electric. Like he redefined. I mean, he re really redefined the game, and it was just like every time you watched him, he was on the edge of your seat, like just trying to. Like, you know, what's next? Trying to see what's next. So, Mike Vick, for sure. Lightning fast. If you said Patrick Kearney, defensive end for the Atlanta Falcons, that would not have been an incorrect answer. <laughs> 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 Alvin, you're the best. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Great insight into your world. Enjoy Houston. Um, keep it safe during this quarantine. Thank you so much for joining us for this FanDuel virtual event. And, man, good luck this season. We're going to be cheering for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me.
All right. We'll see you soon. All right.